hello good morning this morning how are you and I hope you woke up with a bright smile <laughs> hallelujah the Lord is good God is so good I stand amazed I am amazed at the goodness of God I'm amazed at his love oh let us pray father I just want to thank you this morning for your love, your goodness, your faithfulness, your loving kindness that truly, Lord, they endure forever. Your mercies, O oh God, forever. Thank you, Father, for being God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for dying on the cross. Thank you for, for the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, thank you for opening my eyes, for teaching us. Thank you, Lord God, for all that you do. Thank you for your majesty. Thank you for your beauty. Thank you, Lord. So, Lord, I thank you this morning for everyone that would see and hear this broadcast. Your word read and revealed is life. I pray that your word will be life to everyone, O oh God. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's go straight to our memory verse hmm. from the book of Jeremiah chapter 29, yeah, verse 11. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. <sighs> Hallelujah, it says, For I know the thought that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. And our second memory verse is taken from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. Hallelujah. Yeah. I just, I was saying that I, I, I'm amazed at the goodness of God. I'm amazed at his faithfulness. I'm amazed at what he does. He's just so wonderful. He's he qualifies you when you are not qualified for anything. He he gives you grace. He he blesses you when you do not deserve it. He he's just good. The word good is not enough to talk about him. I'm trying to dis describe God. I'm trying to describe the mercy, the goodness, the beauty of God, the beauty of the Lord Jesus Christ, because it's the Lord Jesus that brings all of God to us. He brought the Lord. He, he made a way. He made a way into the Holy of Holies. He made a way into the presence of the Almighty God. Jesus, with his blood, has brought us into the family of God, has reconnected us, reconciled us to God through the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by his death and resurrection on the cross. He died, he rose again, and that opened the way to the presence of the Almighty Father, even the Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He opened opened the way to heaven. He opened the way to glory. He opened the way to eternal life. And it's just so amazing. It's just so amazing. It's just so amazing. God is amazing what he does. He is God. I tell you, I testify to you that Jesus indeed is the son of the living God that came in the flesh and died and was buried and on the third day he rose again and I testify that Jesus is alive and is Lord forever. Oh, thank you, Father. You are so amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. His word is sure. Everything that is written in the Bible is true. So let's go on and read Psalm 119 from verse 25 where we stopped yesterday. <laughs> and let's see what the Lord will tell us. Hallelujah. And he says, my soul, verse 25, my soul clings to the dust. Revive me according to your word. I have declared my ways and you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts, so I shall meditate on your wonderful works. My soul melts from heaviness, strengthen me according to your word. Remove from me the way of lying and grant me your law graciously. I have chosen the way of truth, your judgment I have laid before me. 
I cling to your testimonies. Oh Lord, do not put me to shame. I run the curse of your commandments, for you shall enlarge my heart. I read that from the Passion Version. The Passion Translation of the Bible. I love it. Verse 25. Revived by the word, Lord, I am fading away. I am discouraged and lying in the dust. Revive me by your word, just like you promised you would. I have poured out my life before you, and you have always been there for me. So now I ask, teach me more of your holy decrees. Open up my understanding to the ways of your wisdom, and I will meditate deeply on your splendor, splendor and wonders. My life's strength melts away with grief, grief and sadness. Come straighten me and encourage me with your words. Keep me far away from what is first. Give me grace to stay true to your laws. I have chosen to obey your truth and walk in the splendor light of all that you teach me. Lord, do not, let, do not allow me make a mess of my life, for I cling to your commands and follow them as closely as I can. I will run after you with, my, with delight in my heart, for you make me obedient to your instructions. What a wonderful word. So beautiful. Now let's look at the highlight from verse 25 to verse 32. Now let's look at some highlights of those things that the Lord will have us, you know, the Lord was just popping at me. One, when you are discouraged, when you feel that your life is just ebbing away, when you feel that everything is just going, the only thing that can bring you back to life is the word of God. So the psalmist cries out to God, I am discouraged. Lord, revive me. So when you feel that discouragement is knocking on your door, get the word of God. Get the word of God. Take your Bible up. Open it and say, Lord, uh, revive me by your word. Because it's only the word of God that can revive you. And he says, teach me more of your holy decrees. That is why you have to get more of the word of God into you. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. You get into the word. It is the word that keeps you, that sustains you, that encourages you. He says that I have poured out my life before you. You've always been there. You know, whenever he was, like I told us, there was no time. There was nothing in his life except in that area of marriage that he had a lot of troubles. But every other area, David poured out himself before the Lord. He did nothing without the Lord telling him. He went nowhere without God telling him where to go. Even at the times of trouble, when he disappeared, he had to ask, Lord, what do I do? Every step of the way, he asked the Lord. So he was saying to the Lord, you have have always been there for me. God is always there for you. He's never far away. He said, now I ask you, teach me more. He said, open my, open up my understanding to the ways of your wisdom. Open up my understanding to the ways of your wisdom and I will meditate deeply on your splendor and your wonders. Oh, I pray that God will open up your eyes to see the beauty of his glory. To see the beauty of the glory of God. Again, in verse 28, there he was, the psalmist said, My life strength melts away with grief and sadness. He said, Lord, come strengthen me and encourage me with your word again in the times of sadness and grief. Who would he call unto the Father? He calls unto the Father. In the times of your grief, call unto the Father. In the times where you feel that your strength is gone from you, you have no strength. The Bible says he gives strength to the weak. And to those that have no might, no power, he gives them might. He said, keep away from me what is false. You know, lies Every lie needs a bigger lie to keep it standing. Deception needs a bigger deception. So pray that the Lord will keep you away from anything that will make you tell a lie, live a lie, or walk in a lie. There are lies that you tell forever. It's hard. So be careful. 
pray, Lord, keep me away from lies. He said, do not allow me to make a mess. I love this. Okay, verse 30 says, I have chosen. He says, give me grace to stay true to your laws. I have chosen to obey your truth and walk in the splendor light of all that you teach me. That is the point. It is a choice. He chose to walk in the ways of the Lord. Will you choose today to walk in the ways of the Lord? I have chosen to walk in the ways of the Lord. Learning every day how I can do better with the Lord. How I can know him better. How I can dig better. Are you choosing to follow the Lord with all your heart to find out more about him? He said, Lord, do not allow me to make a mess of my life. Oh my goodness, I love that. For I cling to your commands and follow them as closely as I can. I will run after you with my with delight in my heart. For you make me obedient to your instructions. All that we need is the Lord. All that we need is the word of God. All that we need to make it in life is the word of the Lord. And the Bible says in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. That same word came in flesh. And that same what is Jesus Christ? Do you have Jesus in your life? Then you've got the word. So everything you do, ask him. You don't have Jesus in your life. Accept Jesus today. As you hear this word, accept Jesus today. Just bow down your head. Put your hand on your chest and say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Jesus, I confess you are the son of the living God. You died for me, Lord Jesus, and you rose again. Today, Jesus, I come to you. I am sorry and I repent of my past life. But from today, Lord Jesus, I ask that you be my Lord. You be my Savior. I give you my life and I say I will follow you for the rest of my days. Thank you, Jesus, for accepting me. Amen. And if you pray that prayer, yes, you're born again. You have the life of God in you now. Get to, to a Bible-believing church. I know that we are in a lockdown, but you can get into one online. There are many. Just say, pray and say, Lord Jesus, I want to know more about you. Which church, which message should I listen to? And he will tell you. He will direct you. In the name of Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for your word, O oh God. I give you praise, O oh God. I worship you. Lord, I thank you for your word that has shared, O oh God. Father, I pray for the ones giving their life to you, Lord. That, Lord God Almighty, you will just direct their paths to the place where they can worship you in spirit and in truth. Father, I pray you will bless them and see their salvation for the blood in Jesus' name. And I pray for everyone here in this world that, Father, your word, oh God, indeed will be a delight to every one of us. That, Lord, in all our ways, we will seek you, Father. Our Lord, will put you first in the name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful God. I ask for your blessing upon every year today that, Lord, oh God, you will bless their household, bless all that concerns them. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. And remember that you are a child of the Most High God. God loves you unconditionally. He loves you recklessly and He loves you relentlessly. And until we see again, be glad that you have God in your life and cling to the Word of God. Bless you.